Barney. Oh, it was fun, wasn't it? Hi, everybody. What's going on? Hey there, BJ. Yeah. Are you pretending to be firefighters? Not really, but Barney just showed us the fire station on the adventure screen. Ah, uh, did you get to see all the special clothes they wear when they put a fire out? They really look cool. Uh-huh. Remember when firefighter Frank came to our school and told us all about it? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> This is Firefighter Frank. Hi, everyone. Hi, Hi Frank. Nice to meet you. And this is Chief. He lives at the firehouse. <laughs> Hi, Chief. <laughs> Good boy, Chief. Okay, go lie down. Go lie down. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Chief. <laughs> well, Frank, would you tell us about what you wear to a fire? Well, I wear this helmet to protect my head in case something falls on me during a fire. Ooh. And I have this special coat which keeps me dry when we spray water on the fire. And it also protects my body from the heat of the fire. It gets very hot. And I have these special boots, which keep my feet dry and also protect me from the fire. What's that on your back? It's a tank full of air. When there's a fire, there's lots of smoke. And if you breathe smoke, well, it can make you sick. So we breathe air from the tank through this special mask. Oh, cool! Oh, my, look at that! <laughs> it's just me, Barney. Oh, okay. When I'm wearing this mask, I'm trying to help people. Firefighters have to be really strong to wear all that stuff. <laughs> and carry that heavy tank on their backs. It would be hard to run all the way to a fire. It's a good thing they have trucks. <laughs> That's right, BJ. But they still have to hurry, hurry. <laughs> Hurry! We gotta help somebody! It's time to drive the fire truck! We gotta get there! Come on, kids, let's go! I have a question for you. Do you know the two most important rules to remember if you see a fire or smell smoke? I sure do. <laughs> yeah, Firefighter Frank told us all about that, Barney. Oh. When you see a fire, there are two very important things that I'm counting on you to do. Number one, tell a grown-up. Mm. And number two, get out of the building. That's what I did when there was a fire at my house. Good, Tasha. Well, I can do that. If I see a fire, I'll tell a grown-up and then get out of the building. Good. <laughs> now, does everyone know how to get out of a building when there's lots of smoke? No smoke. No, I don't really. You crawl under smoke like this. Huh? Oh. Why don't you try it? Oh, oh, oh boy. <laughs> oh, there they go. Under the smoke. Great. Good. Good. Now, once you get out of a burning building, mm -hmm. stay out. Don't go back in for anything. Can you remember that? Sure. Crawl out under smoke. And once you get out, stay out. Very good. Did you lose something, DJ? No. I'm practicing crawling under smoke in case I have to get out of a burning building. My family practiced getting out of our house in case of a fire. It helped us when that fire really did happen. Oh my, what did you do? 
When I smelled smoke, I ran and told my mom and dad right away. We all got out of the house really fast, and we didn't go back in for anything, even my favorite dolls. Just like Firefighter Frank told us. Oh, I'm glad no one was hurt, Tasha. It's important that we all know what to do in case of a fire. We learned a lot from Firefighter Frank. Yeah, I didn't even know what a smoke detector was until Firefighter Frank showed us this one. Mm -hmm. After Firefighter Frank's visit, I went home and asked my mom and dad to check the batteries on all the smoke detectors in our house. Oh, that's important. Oh, what are you doing, Frank? I'm just checking the smoke detector to make sure it's still working. Oh. What's a smoke detector? A smoke detector can tell you when there's smoke in a room, which may mean there's a fire. You mean it can kind of smell smoke? <laughs> well, in a way. When the smoke touches the detector, it makes a loud noise to let you know that there's something burning in your house. Some smoke detectors even have flashing lights, too. Oh, every home should have at least one smoke detector. And if there's a fire, you tell a grown-up and get out. That's right, BJ. <laughs> Oh, I can't wait until I'm big enough to be a firefighter. Well, you can be a firefighter right now by helping us prevent fires. And that means leave matches alone. But I'm sure none of you plays with matches. Oh, no. <laughs> Good. You know, with all the different kinds of alarms and sirens and everything, hearing sure is important for fire safety. But there are other ways to tell there's a fire. I have a good smoke detector right here. And I can see the smoke and fire and feel the heat from the fire, too. That makes a lot of sense to me, Jason. <laughs> oh, our senses of hearing, smell, sight, and touch are all important when it comes to fire safety. <laughs> With our eyes, we... See! With our ears, we... Hear! With our fingers, we can... Touch! With our nose, we... Smell! With our mouth, we... Very good. I am an eye. Yes, an eye is what I am. Sometimes I need some glasses to see the best I can. With our eyes we see, with our ears we hear, with our fingers we can touch. With our nose we smell, with our mouth we taste. Now thank you very much. Oh, that's right. so many safety rules. You mean, like being careful crossing the street. That's right. And protecting our heads. And picking up our toys. Right again. And buckling up our seatbelts when we ride in the car. Yep, that's very important. And getting in or out of the tub with a grown-up's help. And staying away from hot things that could burn us. Oh, two more good ones. <laughs> and remember, if you're near water, stay with a grown-up. And tell a grown-up if you smell smoke. And get out of a burning building fast. And don't go back in. And stay away from fire. Very good. And always ask for help from a grown-up if you're not sure that something's safe. 
Ooh, I couldn't have said it better. <laughs> I want you all to be safe, so you won't be hurt, cause all my friends are special to me. <laughs> you are special, you're the only one, you're the only one like you. There isn't another in the whole wide world who can do the things you do. Cause you are special, special, everyone is special. Everyone in his or her own way Oh, you are special, special Everyone is special Everyone in his or her own way <laughs> You're important, girl, you really are You're the only one of you The world is better just because you're here You should know that Everyone in his or her own way. <laughs> <laughs>